suppose if we have the problem of multicollinearity in our data set what will be its practical consequences number one as you know that we have discussed the oils parameters the oils regression we are saying that oils is the method with the help of which we can get blue are the oils parameters obey the property of blue what do we mean by blue it means that the oils parameters are best they are linear and they are unbiased so if you have the case of multicollinearity in your data oils estimate have large variances and covariances making precise estimation difficult it means that okay if you have the case of multicollinearity still the oils parameters follow the blue property given by the gas markov it means that the oils estimators are still blue but their variances are large if their variances are large it means the precise estimation is difficult this is the first practical consequence of multicollinearity the second the confidence intervals tend to be much wider because when you are designing a confidence interval it will be much wider if your confidence interval is much wider what will be the result you will accept the zero null hypothesis for example the null hypothesis is that beta 2 is equal to 0 you are testing this hypothesis that beta 2 is equal to 0 and when you will test this hypothesis you will accept so what will be the problem if you accept it let me give you example of consumption and income we are saying that the consumption expenditures of an individual uh, are related to uh, the income of the consumer so we are saying that if there is a change in income of a consumer it means the consumption expenditures of a consumer will increase so we can say that beta 2 which is the slope coefficient of income is not equal to 0 maybe if your income changes by 100 dollars and your consumption increases by 80 dollars it means that your beta 2 is equal to 0.8 or the mpc value is 0.8 it means that the slope of the consumption function line is 0.8 you are bringing one unit change in your income due to which your consumption changes by 0.8 units or if you are changing your income by 1 dollar your consumption changes by 0.8 dollars or very simply if you are changing your income by 100 dollars your consumption changes by 80 dollars okay now look at this point when you will test your hypothesis you will write that h not i mean to say null hypothesis beta 2 is equal to 0 beta 2 equal to 0 means that the mpc is equal to 0 if mpc is 0 it means that your income have no relationship with your consumption your theory is suggesting a relationship and yes there is a relationship but if multicollinearity is there in your data it means that you are accepting the null hypothesis you are accepting h not by saying that beta 2 is equal to 0 so what will be the result it means that you are accepting a wrong hypothesis look at the third one the t ratio of one of the conditions tend to be statistically insignificant your data is having the problem of multicollinearity and suppose you have three independent variables in your model and you are checking its significance how you will check the significance of each variable with the t statistic or with the t ratio the t ratio will best guide you about the significance and non significance of a variable so when the t statistics gives you uh, guides you that yes your variable is significant you will say that yes my variable is significant 
are if the t statistic guides you that your variable is insignificant you will conclude that yes it is insignificant but if you have multicollinearity in data your variables are actually significant the theory guides you that yes you need to include these two variables and if you need if you include these two variables in your regression model your variables are significant they are significantly affecting your dependent variable so this is the theory and you are thinking our mental judgment is also following this combination are the inclusion of these variables but the main issue is that when you have multicollinearity the t statistic will show that your coefficients are insignificant it means when there is a multicollinearity in your data the t statistic will give you an answer that your variable is insignificant that the coefficient of your variable is insignificant so what you will conclude you will conclude that oh i have added uh, a wrong variables are in irrelevant variables into my regression model i need to remove my variables this will be your decision but actually you are wrong maybe your variables are significant but this is due to the presence of multicollinearity which guides you in a wrong direction your estimation results will say that your variables are insignificant but maybe are actually your variables are significant so one must need to deal with multicollinearity first before going for the final estimation for example j m keens theory postulates that yes there is a direct relationship between income of the consumer and consumption of the consumers it means income and consumption has a positive relationship or income is the most significant variable affecting the consumption of individuals you have data on consumption expenditures and income expenditures and when you will estimate your data the coefficient of the income suppose beta 2 gives you an answer and you are thinking that oh this variable is insignificant so what you will do you will say that oh my income variable is wrong but actually this is not a wrong variable why you are getting this result because your data is facing the issue of multicollinearity you need to deal with the multicollinearity first then you need to estimate your model number four although the t ratio of one or more coefficient is statistically insignificant r square can be very high the t statistic shows that one or more coefficients of the explanatory variables are statistically insignificant on the one side you are saying that my variables are insignificant it means they are not relevant variables in my model because they are insignificant they are not significantly affecting the dependent variable then why i need to include these insignificant variables in my regression analysis what you will do you will remove you will remove your independent variables but although on one side the t statistics is showing that your number of variables or your number of coefficients are statistically insignificant but the uh, but on the other hand the value of the r square is high i think this is a very clear contradiction we are saying that if the value of r square is high it means our independent variables are explaining our dependent variable for example if the value of r square is equal to 0 0.9 it means that 90 percent changes in the dependent variable is caused by the independent variable if 90 percent changes occur in your dependent variable on the basis of independent variable so you can conclude that yes my variables are significant they are 90 percent affecting the dependent variable but what about the t statistic 
your t statistic is saying that your variable is insignificant we are getting this contradictory result just because of the presence of multicollinearity we need to deal with the multicollinearity pass if we solve this issue then the r square will be higher and the t statistics will guide you that yes your variables are significant so there will be no contradiction and you will go in the right direction the final one is the standards can be sensitive to small changes in the data it means that if you include or if you exclude observations from your data so the standard errors and the OLS estimators will change automatically and they will change more than the expected so if you are adding or if you are excluding means you are bringing small changes in your original data this small change will bring more changes in the OLS estimators and their standard errors why because there is multicollinearity in your data okay. so these are the practical consequences of multicollinearity